Hi guys, China here coming to you from my channel, That Girl China with another Dollar Tree haul. Now the um, person that was drawn last, or the third person that was drawn rather, um, came forward um, either last night or this morning. So Emily, I did get your message. I haven't had a chance to respond. It's been um, a very busy morning, um, but I will be sending out your package via FedEx and I will give you the details with the tracking information. So I am very excited and looking forward to giving out the three new tote bags. My goal is to hit 225 subscribers. We seem to be moving along. Um, so I'm hopeful that here in the next maybe two weeks we can hit that goal and I can start drawing for those tote bags and you may have a chance to win. Um, and I have yet another um, two um, gifts that I'm gonna be giving out after those tote bags are handed out. I will be doing a garden themed, um, as mentioned a couple of videos back, and, and that was by request by one of my subscribers. And I'm also gonna be doing um, a Mother's Day. The Mother's Day has gotta be sooner than later because of course, Mother's Day is around the corner. So um, if you are new, again, my name is China. I do Dollar Tree hauls and I love, love, love to give stuff away. I find um, like my joy is in the hunt and in finding the stuff. And um, there are things that, yes, I do keep, um, but there's only so much that I can keep. I do have a craft room but I don't want to like hoard stuff um, or just start collecting all these different things uh, because I, I am obsessed with socks, um, there are journals, um, there's uh, dishes, dishware, that kind of stuff, um, but there's only so much that I can fit in my home. Um, so I love giving it away to family, friends, and to you guys because you guys are the reason that I have a channel to begin with because um, you guys are supporting me just by taking time out of your day to watch my um, my videos. So in this video, um, I've got a more um, adorable, um, amazing, awesome stuff that I found at um, two different Dollar Trees that I visited and um, I hope that you will like what I'm presenting. Um, so let's get started. But before I do anything else, I am like so excited. I got something in the mail yesterday and I never thought that I was at this level yet because, you know, I'm going up against people like Crafty Girl and, you know, um, Thrifty Tiffany, who else? Um, Kathy Donovan. There's so, uh, Keto Twisted Gypsy, which is now Twisted Gypsy. So they, these are like my, my inspiration. These are the people that then inspired me to do my own channel because I have a, um, a love too for this store. Um, I, I would also probably do one for like at home, Hobby Lobby, Target, um, Ikea, other stores that I'm obsessed with. Um, but there's only so much you can do. Um, but definitely, definitely love the Dollar Tree. But what I'm getting it at is that I didn't think that I had reached their level of success where I would get, um, like either, uh, what is it called? Um, Fan mail, um, what is, I, I don't know what you would call it, but I got a letter in the mail yesterday. It is a Hallmark uh, card and it is from one of the subscribers. So I got um, mail, I couldn't believe it. I was so excited and so happy. And so I'm gonna open it up in front of you guys. If they wrote something in here, I'm not gonna read that out loud out of, out of respect but I will most definitely read what the card itself says. Um, this, so this is a card. Um, oh, I've had this card. This, is, this card is so beautiful. Look at that with the gold metallic. So it says, thank you, expressions by Hallmark. And um, um, it's from my, one of my subscribers by the name of Sally. She's been one of the ones from the very beginning. Thank you, uh, new new people who are discovering me and you know subscribing, and to you guys who have you know even if you don't subscribe but you do watch, I appreciate that as well. And you guys have been so supportive. Um, all the comments have been you know very um, 
you know, they're just lovely and, and positive and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it because it's, um, it's very scary to put yourself out there. You don't know how people are going to respond and, um, people can hide, you know, in the internet and they can say, you know, horrible things to you. And so far I've not experienced that. So I've been so grateful to you guys. Thank you again um, for taking time today to watch my video or whatever day you're watching it on. Today's Friday. It's storming really bad. I wanted to go um, landscape shopping because we're redoing our front yard and our backyard. And we were going to go with the gardener to pick out flowers and, and bushes and all kind of stuff. And unfortunately, the rain is pouring down. So we've had to um, reschedule that. But anyway... Enough of that long, long intro. Sorry about that. Let's dive in for real this time. This is a for real, for real. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to start off in the beauty product section. And so I found, this is saying that it is new. And it is Yardley London Wild Rose. So it is a moisturizing bath bar. It says it uplifts with a fresh floral scent and sweet geranium oil and it does smell like roses i mean you can smell it through the box i think this would be a beautiful add-in gift again let me show you again it's saying that it's new love the packaging um this would also match with some of the packaging that bolero is putting out with the roses on it so if you're putting together like a gift basket for your mother your grandmother your mother-in-law um or you just love the smell of roses or you have like a maybe like an English cottage kind of setting in your guest bedroom, guest bathroom. Um, I think this would be a lovely addition to any one of those, you know, whether it be a gift or you're setting up a guest bedroom or you just want to um, bathe in the luxurious smell of roses because they have a beautiful scent and at a dollar, a really good deal. So, and again, just the packaging itself again, would add such a, a beautiful impact to any gift set. So again, Wild Roses, Yardley of London. So I went ahead and picked that up. Okay, another item. Now this is something new that I've been trying. I've only been trying it for two days. So I feel like I need to give it more time. I've been very, very pleased with the cocoa butter version of the Dermacil Moisturizing Body uh, uh, Lotion Cream, whatever you wanna call it. It is so, um, it's thick, it's creamy, it's not oily, it, um, it doesn't feel greasy. I can feel the, the difference in my skin for sure from day one, from day one. And I was so obsessed, I finished a tube in like, um, and it's pretty, pretty big size. I finished it in like a week and a half because I was literally like lathering and rolling around in it. So I went and bought three, you know, tubes of it. So I'm saying if Germacil's, um, body lotion is that great how would their face cream and they have day cream and night cream so i um have one already that i do in the day but i may try dermacil as well but i found this one which is oil free night moisturizing facial cream with vitamin e so it says that it is intense moisturizer for softer and smoother skin while relieving dryness um it's two fluid ounces um and so far i have used it two nights in a row so we'll see um i'll follow up with you guys if you haven't tried this product i do recommend the cocoa butter one they also have one that i believe is unscented um for me it does have a scent um, my son says it doesn't that i'm imagining it i gave it to them they like it again same thing very creamy very it's a very thick you know lotion it's not watered down um, but it's not greasy at all um and so you may want to try the regular one or if you like cocoa butter then the cocoa butter one and now i've seen recently the aloe vera version as well in the here coming out for summertime so um this i'm sure also is going to be a hit i'll let you guys know in my next video because it usually i usually do them a few days apart so that'll give me enough time to have tested it out for a few days and see if I notice a difference okay ladies that love the lashes and I am one of them um, and there is a lot of you guys out there if you've never tried lashes try them at least once um, it makes the hugest impact on your eyes if you want eyes that pop 
um, especially for like girls like me. I have eyelashes, but they're like straight down and they're not long. And guess what? My baby brother, who I adore, has these long, gorgeous eyelashes. And some of my some of my sons, long, gorgeous eyelashes. And I'm like, it's not fair. Why do you guys have these long, pretty lashes? And here, me being a girl, needing the pretty lashes, you know, so you know how we do. We kind of bat our eyes and stuff like that when you're flirting. Um, but the good news is that you can ha you can achieve the look. Um, with Ioni. So they've got these beautiful marbleized packaging. I picked up several. Um, I didn't empty the, I didn't empty the um, shelf. There was lots of them. They had lots of them. You could tell they had just arrived. They had them on clip strips. They had them in the makeup aisle. They were all over the place. So these are 3D faux mink lashes. These are going to be the first set here. Check those out. Gorgeous, wispy, just beautiful and it says that they are 100 percent handmade these are called calicutta gold so these are the name of this particular set there we are here's the name right there and there you can see the beautiful eyelashes and these are actually like my favorites um bianco lassa they are the name of this set and it's black and gold marbling on the packaging. And again, this these are Ioni 3D Faux Mink Lashes. And check these beauties out. They had many. I have more to show you. I'll have to show you in another video because they just had so many to choose from. So I picked up several to give to friends and family. And then also some for the um donation um or what do they call the drawings that i do i throw in lashes um and the glue and the glue you can't leave the glue out um so in the future um totes or gift baskets that i'll give out those will include lashes as well because i bought some for this purpose now check this gem out like i was oh my god this is so pretty so they have this brand called sophie um and they um um apparently they are a hair product line so i found this beautiful look at this hair accessory it cut it's basically i guess like a ponytail holder as you can see back here but look at the front of it i'm hoping that the camera catches the detail on this i'm going to try to move it around slowly so you guys can see the detailing on this gorgeous so it's got that gold it also has almost like a tortoise shell and I don't know, some kind of like stone. It's, it's just gorgeous. Um, and you know, if you want to up the look of a ponytail, you can t turn an everyday ponytail into something really glam with this hair accessory. And at a dollar, y'all, you know you would not pay a dollar at Walmart, at Target, or anywhere else for a hair um, product of this caliber. Again, look how gorgeous really hoping the camera's lighting is not blocking the details so a dollar i found that also found these by the brand styling um, you're getting 24 control hold clasp free premium elastics look at these gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so they're gold silver like almost like a copper color and they go all the way down to black and they're glittery and shimmery just so pretty i mean it's one thing to have you know your ponytail holder but then when it's shimmery and glittery it just brings it to a whole other level one more look you're getting 24 of them and again these are by the brand styling this is not um an in-store dollar tree brand just fyi in case you're wondering okay more hair products guys you know you know i keep picking them up and i'm running out of room with this too so i'm gonna have to start giving some of these away so scrunchies and as i told you guys you know you guys can probably see i have very thick hair um most of the time i wear um unless i'm like at the office or filming no sometimes i wear it up when i'm filming um or maybe out i hate having my hair down i hate it it gets on my nerves like big time because it's almost like almost always in the way. So what I do is I ponytail it up. I put it in a, in a scrunchie. 
um, or in those hair clips. And so I'm always picking those up. I picked these up. They are by Stylin also. You're getting six scrunchies. So you have this white, like a waffle knit. Then you have this almost like a sweater knit. Um, and it sits in this light, what color would this be? Like a taupe, a light beige, a, a khaki. I don't know what color that is. Um, and then this one almost has like a foxhound. What it, no, it's not foxhound. Fo I'll come back to that. I don't, I don't remember the name of the print right now. But there it is. Houndstooth. Houndstooth. So this one has a houndstooth print to it. And then, of course, you have your leopard print. And this one is velvety filling. Really nice. Blue, again, with waffle knit. And then you have a black, which has kind of almost like a t-shirt material. So you've got a variety of fabric styles, a variety of scrunchies. And they had various different sets. So if you don't like this particular set of designs or colors, they had like two or three other types that you may be interested in. But again, so pretty. Look, houndstooth, waffle knit, you know, this real pretty blue here. Um, and then this t-shirt kind of like material, you know, it'd be soft on your hair. And you're getting six for a dollar. So really great deal. Couldn't pass them up. Love the colors. And so, of course, I picked them up. Okay, another item that I picked up, which I plan in throwing into a future giveaway, were the Spa Life Brightening Natural Extract Paraben and Sulfate-Free Cucumber and Lemon Anti-Aging Brightening. And it says, our refreshing eye strips contain natural cucumber and lemon to help your under eyes look refreshed, restored, and renewed. And it's so under eye strips. Um, How many do you get here? Uh... Dermatologist recommended, contains 12 treatments. Wow, you're getting 12 for a dollar. So here's the packaging, guys. This is what it's looking like. G perfect throw in for Mother's Day. You know the mothers are always being dragged around, um, called mom, mom, I need this, mom, I need that. When does mom get a break? Never, ever, ever. So, you know, we want mom to keep her youthful glow and maybe you're making her a spa gift. Uh, maybe you're setting aside items for Christmas, um, for birthdays. Now would be the time to start collecting this stuff, setting it aside so you'll be ready when those days roll around. Now, um, and it gives you the instructions on how to do it. So it's a strip. It goes right under the eye. I bought these um, not only for future giveaways and not only for mom too, but because I do not, I cannot, um, I'm one of these people like I can fall asleep, but I cannot stay asleep. I wake up throughout the night, probably about three or four times a night. I, I know it's not healthy. Um, I have been prescribed medication for that, but I just don't like taking a lot of medicine. And so, um, I don't take it, um, though they prescribed it for me, but it's supposed to, you know, knock me out. Um, so I just wake up throughout the night over and over and over again. I will fall back asleep, but you know, when you're being interrupted all the time, it's not good for you. It's not good for your health. And it especially is not good for your complexion and for, you know, where you're having bags under your eyes. So someone like me especially needs something like this. This is something for the ladies, maybe do a spa day. I used to do these with my sons. I have three sons, they're in their twenties. We used to do stuff like that. I would um, polish their nails and give them mani pedis and um, never wanted daughters. So it wasn't a loss for me. I always wanted boys, um, but I wanted to let my boys know that boys can take care of themselves too. You know, take care of your complexion, take care of your nails, take care of your body, your skin. And um, this is one of the things that we used to do, you know, kind of lay back, you do a mask, you put some uh, cucumber on your eyes and it's just, it's just a good time, you know, right? So get together with your friends. Um, that's another idea and do some of these um, under eye patches. So I bought several of these um, and at a dollar for 12 sets, 12. Did I mention 12? 12. All right, guys, let me put this video on pause. I'm going to make some room here in front of my desk, and I will be right back. All right, so now staying with the health and beauty aid aisle, um, I picked up some other items, name brands, more name brands, and really great deals. So first of all, I picked up a two-pack of Gillette Black 
Luber Strip Fixed um, Shaver. So a clean cut price for a clean cut shave. And you're getting two. And these are Gillette. And what do they say about Gillette? Gillette is the best a man can get. This says that there's two in here. Oh no, there's two blades. There's actually three razors. So there's three razors, but it's double bladed. Um, and guys, Father's Day is like right around the corner. Um, so if you're looking to buy something for your father, now start building up. There's so many things that you could pick up at the Dollar Tree and add them in, create a really cute um, gift set. Um, and I have a way that I will show you what you can do with this um, amongst other things that you can add from the Dollar Tree. So this is one of them, Gillette being a name brand. You're getting three, uh, a three pack. Okay, another one is Barbasol. Now this is a classic brand. Here you are getting three blades, and but two razors. So it's kind of turn uh, flipped around. Again, Barbasol is a known brand, and they also sell the Barbasol shaving cream. So you can group those up together, and again, create a part of a gift set. Gift 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 set. What the what what the hell is that? Um, a gift set that you can add in together with other items that you can group up from the tr the Dollar Tree and elsewhere. So Barbasol again, classic. You are getting a three blade and a two pack. Now for the ladies, you know, we all got to do some landscaping. The men with the manscaping and the women, we do, um, you know, our landscaping, ladiescaping, however you want to call it. And so this is Simply Gillette Venus, two blades, and you are getting three razors. Another name brand. Look at that. So again, if you're putting together a gift set, maybe a spa gift set, um, or you're donating to homeless shelters, um, you know, there's all kind of things that you can do with these and not just, um, you know, you can make um, homeless uh, bags and totes and gather all kind of goodies and put them in different tote bags that are a dollar at the Dollar Tree and you can go and donate them to people that you see um, that are out that are homeless. Um, you know, you never know what's going on in someone's life. It could be addiction. It could be addiction related to mental illness. Um, so, you know, that's something that can be done. Um, or you could, again, you can put it together as a spa gift set and you're, you're giving a name brand again, simply Venus. And this is by, um, Gillette also. Okay. So speaking of tote bags, I found this one. Now I chose black. You see this, uh, stripping down the side and also the handles. It came with black, but the stripping in blue, the stripping in red, and the stripping, I think, also in green. I just chose a solid black. What I like about this toad is this is what I did. I bought, um, uh, well, my son uses electric razors, so I couldn't buy him the razors here because they use the electric ones. Um, but what I did was I bought him gym clothes because I have, all three of my sons are like gym rats. They are... Oh, pump and iron, building mass, um, protein is a common word spoken in my house. Um, the, what do they call it? The gains. Um, what's another word? Um, let me know if your sons are like this. Um, calisthenics. There, oh, how much can you bench press? Blah, blah, blah. So that, that, these are my sons. Um, so what I did is, um, I had a son who had a birthday here recently and, um, I used one of these tote bags. I bought him a pair of Nikes. And then I also put in um, some other products um, that I found like Axe Soap from the Dollar Tree. I think um, there was some other, oh, deodorant from the Dollar Tree. So he can put his stuff in here and also gym clothes. Um, a couple of t-shirts, a couple of pants. And this made for a really cute gift set. So be thinking about that, you know, boyfriend's birthday, husband's birthday, um, you know, a guy, any guy in your life. And again, it comes in a variety of colors. I just love the cleanness of the black. Um, also, you know, remember Father's Day, be thinking about Father's Day and be thinking about throwing, throwing in, you know, one of these and the shaving cream and whatever, whatever else you plan to get dad. 
Um, there's, oh, they also have socks. I got him socks. That was another thing I got from the Dollar Tree. I bought um, athletic socks, and you can get those too. So just something to consider. Really big tote bag. So I went ahead and picked it up. Now, of course, I'm not the first one to haul this. So I had a hard time finding it because it's so popular. But this one says, save the bees and uh, protect the hive. Um, beautiful bag. It's like a woven plastic, um, woven polypropylene is what the material is. And the side is just perfect. It's, it's utter perfection. A beautiful bag, beautiful backdrop. Look at the colors. Um, if you plan to give a friend a, um, you know, a gardening gift set, if they're really into the bee theme, um, Mother's Day, um, buy something for your grandmother. She's a mother too. Just so many things that you can do, or you want to use this in lieu of, you know, the grocery plastic bags, you know, you're, you're doing, um, buying your own reusable bags for that purpose. Beautiful bag. So many reasons to purchase it. It's so cute. So if you can get your hands on one, definitely do so. Okay. Last little couple items. And I am trying to keep these videos short guys. You know that I cannot help myself. Um, I think I talk too much and especially in the camera shaking. I, this is normally where I would pause so I can move the stuff into the shot. Um, but this is where we're going to start. Okay, got to have my coffee every morning. You guys already know. And I love these tumblers. These say seize the day. And this is a snap-on lid. And it snaps on airtight. So it's got a beautiful little sun in the background. Adorable font. It's in a bright orange. And here are your tops. You're getting two tumblers and these are dishwasher and microwave safe. These make great gift add-ins, um, again, for Mother's Day, um, for birthdays, you know, for any occasion. I, like me being a coffee lover, I, this is something that I would like to receive. And you can, and they're getting two. You're getting two, so you can't beat it. Okay, another item that I picked up, like I told you, I always pick up socks these are ultra lightweight and it says that they're low cut socks what 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 what's going on today i don't know i have no idea probably because i'm sleep deprived y'all okay so size is 6 to 12 low cut mesh ventilation y heel and cushioned footbed so it's a two pack here's the other side and so i picked up these and i just picked up two sets you know every time i go i buy my son socks because you know socks are always going missing okay another item that i picked up as you guys know that i'm donating things to md anderson or the university of texas md anderson cancer center so amongst those items are these um scars and these are for people that are in the process of receiving chemo or radiation therapy and they're in the process of hair loss so i'm buying as many scarves as i can my goal is to get a hundred of them a hundred of each type of item before i go and make a donation so i found this print it is by expressions and um, i think it's a beautiful scarf the gorgeous print it's pink and red so i picked it up so this is just one of it and i like it because it comes individually wrapped in this plastic also found this one hopefully i won't keep fumbling my words because apparently i cannot talk today i'm making no sense okay so this one is super cute i think this would be cute for like a teen or a tween because this one has smiley faces on it it's got like a like a beigey kind of background and then like a hot almost like a highlighter pink look do you see the little faces on there they're little smiley faces, and I think this is so cute. It's cheerful, and the smiley faces come in both colors. Hopefully, that's showing up on camera. Now, if you don't, um, you're not donating them or anything, what you could do is tie them around your neck because they're very lightweight, perfect for summer. Um, you can tie them around your tote bag, um, your purse. That you know, give it a you know a little facelift. It just gives it a different look. Um, you can also use this as crafting fabric and make something completely different with it. Okay, um, let me put video on pause so I don't shake the camera. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, and I'm back. Okay, so some other items that I picked up were these phone ring with straps, and they're just little pom poms. 
and I thought they were so adorable. Um, again, these are items that I'm going to be donating to MD Anderson because I also want to pick up stuff that, you know, not just for kids, um, also stuff for adults and, um, for teenagers as well. You know, when you're spending, there's people that spend like weeks, months, they're in the hospital. And I mean, you can only imagine what it would be like, you know, just laying in a bed day after day after day. And the only time that you're leaving that bed is to be transported to get, you know, MRIs or CAT scans or some kind of treatment. So I want to bring and donate stuff that's going to, you know, help make that situation a little bit brighter. You know, even if it's just, I obviously I'd like to make it that much more um, enjoyable or less, uh, less of an awful experience, but there's anything that I can do that would change that situation or better that situation is why I'm buying a lot of these products. But if you're liking these little things to uh, click or add on to your phone, um, I think they're so pretty. You can also take this thing off of the attachment to the back of the phone and just make it a keychain because it, it would make a really adorable keychain. It came in a variety of colors. These are just two of the ones that I picked up, which is this minty teal color and then this pink color. And I picked this up where the phone accessories were. Again, same thing with, you know, like stocking stuffers and things of that sort. Another item that I picked up was this light up. Um, this is being called a LED tumbler. So if you guys are going to be doing, um, you know, birthday party and a tropical theme, you're doing a backyard barbecue, a luau, and you want something that just um, draws a lot of attention and is a lot of fun, you have this light up. Don't know if you can see. Hopefully you guys can. This thing lights up. Imagine it at night lighting up and you can put your cocktail in there your smoothie whatever kind of drink of your choice you have your straw and the straw has a little cap to keep um the little bugs out so the um the top of the palm tree or the leaves is just serving as a top to protect the drink and again it lights up but only for you know a few seconds so you don't have to turn it off it turns off by itself um, I don't know if you can, yeah, it looks like you can change your battery out too. If you look at the bottom of it here, it does open up so you can change and replace the battery if you want to, you know, save it for the following year. But I just thought this was so adorable. It also came in a smaller version. I picked up the tall one and it also comes in blue. So that's something that I picked up. Okay, another item to be donated, um, you know, to MD Anderson are books, you know, um, Dollar Tree is a great place to get books, including bestsellers. Um, this book originally cost $17.99 in the U.S., $23.99 in Canada. And it's basically called um, Folded Notes from High School. So I'm thinking this is from, um, you know, for teenagers. It says, in this hilarious novel, Matt Boren adeptly proves that the more things change, the more things stay the same. That's a quote by Kelly Ripa. Um, and this is a novel. It's saying the folded notes, a popular form of communication in high schools across America in the 1980s and 90s. I remember form for friends and lovers alike to share their most intimate thoughts about the world, their teenage angst and the twists and turns in their hearts. The folded notes collected for this book represent correspondence surrounding one Tara Marie Murphy, senior at South High School, circa 1991 to 1992. I thought it would make an interesting read, especially for a teenager, or maybe if you're remembering your youth. Um, and at $17.99, I got this sucker for a dollar. That'll be donated to MD Anderson. Also found a 12-piece set of stickers. Um, loving these, they kind of look like wood. They are not wood, but they have the appearance of wood. So they're pop-up stickers. And they have all these vintage style motorcycles and cars. And I thought these were so cute. And again, since I'm trying to focus on more boy items, I picked this up and these will be donated to MD Anderson. But these are great for crafting, especially if you want to have your kids make dad or grandpa a card for the upcoming Father's Day holiday. Another set of stickers that will be donated. These are 35 piece puffy stickers um i just thought they were so cool so you're getting all these cheetahs and you can see there's like tropical floral um 
foliage in the background and they have little quotes it says be brave be bold you can do it find your freedom um let's see love our planet save the future and again an up close look of these hopefully you guys can see them and 35 stickers these also will be donated but they're great for you know your kiddos um keep them busy making crafts and what kid doesn't love stickers okay so i also picked up another um disney emoji sticker activity funny faces book to be donated um so we have dory i can't remember what those are called but they're in toy story and ariel so it's basically 16 pages of faces and two pages of stickers and so you've got these faces that are blank that you can create your own um face with using all these different type of stickers so it's um an activity that you can use to keep your kids busy especially during the summer or a car ride um, or at a restaurant and since i am donating journals and notebooks to md anderson as well i found these but you may want to buy them for the upcoming school year so i know the school year is coming to a draw um but or maybe you're sending your kids to camp you want something for them to write on um or they're going to be at home maybe they want to document their summer um or again save them for next year this one has a cheetah and it's got this hologram here that shows the cheetah running as it moves so it is 70 sheets and they are lined and again you can see the cheetah running can you see that is that not the coolest ever so i went ahead and picked up this 3d motion graphics is what it's called um it says there's four you collect four this one shows dolphins same thing same amount of sheets and these are going to be donated to md anderson and then i also found this one with the turtle look at that isn't that amazing so amazing so again you can put them away for stocking stuffers birthdays um what else if you're donating like i do or you can save them for the upcoming school year um since the school year is almost over okay almost coming to the end again since i wasn't focusing on a lot of boy items when I was going to the store, um, I found this 100 piece puzzle, Spider-Man, um, and it's just super cool, especially with the boys loving superheroes, although there are girls that love them as well. This is gonna be donated also to MD Anderson, but these are great for birthday gifts, stocking stuffers, things to keep your kids busy. Um, and I did make a superhero um, themed uh, birthday gift in case you guys are interested it, it's everything was purchased at the Dollar Tree it comes out super awesome I put everything in a uh, superhero tote I'm gonna link that video below if you guys are um, looking for ideas for an upcoming boys birthday party who happens to love superheroes so that video will be linked in the description box okay and last but certainly not least I'm gonna be making like what do they call it like when you use those strips of fabric and you make a garland, um, I'm gonna be making one, but it's gonna be in lemon theme. So I picked up, I think you can use ribbon too. I do have fabric, but I'm gonna be combining ribbon as well. And of course, um, twine or jute twine for the garland. It says farmhouse ribbon, nine feet floral garden. So I have this, it's like a double stripe, black and like an off-white color. So I picked up that one. It kind of had a farmhouse kind of look to it. And then of course the gingham in the black and white. And of course the lemons, cause that's gonna be the theme of the um, craft that I'm gonna be making, the garland. So lemons, um, thought this was super cute. And that, my friend, brings this Dollar Tree haul to a wrap. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that I was able to show you something that you will be on the hunt for. Um, if you have not subscribed and you're enjoying the content that I'm presenting, I try to upload videos on average about three times a week. I go to the Dollar Tree on average three times a week. Um, and sometimes I combine um, 99 cent store hauls. I frequently do giveaways. Um, so you guys always have a chance to win something. Um, and again, if you're liking what I see, what you're seeing, hit the um, subscribe button, um, click the like button and comment down below. I always comment and respond 
as quickly as I can. I hope to catch you guys at the Dollar Tree. Until next time, bye guys.